gonna take my horse to the whole town road I'm gonna ride till I can't no more Hey guys, welcome to my channel My channel on my chain channel a welcome to my channel a welcome to my channel a welcome to my channel my name is destiny and if you see my face before and you haven't subscribed yet then baby what are you doing subscribe i'm giving you teacher professor somebody's mother vibes today because i just came from work besides the point i'm gonna try to put my crackheadness aside because today we actually have quite an important video. It's, it's quite an important topic actually. Um, I'm going to be addressing the Lil Nas X situation. I'm going to be talking about his new video. And I'm going to be talking about his shoes that he came out with. I'm going to just be touching on how I feel about the situation as a Christian. Because I am a believer. I'm a follower of Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus is Lord and that's all. I don't want this to be a long video. So with that being said, let's just get right into the video. Okay. If you see me looking down, it's because I made a list. I have a point I want to touch on in this video, and I wrote down things I don't want to forget. Um, for you guys who don't know, I'm going to put y'all on speed. Long story short, this artist, Lil Nas X, he is the one who sings, Yeah, I'm going to take my horse to the whole town road. I'm going to ride till I can't no more. He came out with a song called Montero, and long story short, Mad Demonic. It's clearly very very demonic this was straightforward but he he was in your face he was he was bold he came with the boldness and then he also came out with these shoes called satan shoes they're like nike shoes um apparently nike suing him for like millions anyways that's just my little short little summary of what this video is about yeah as i said the video clearly demonic clearly i mean i'm not really surprised in a sense where you know the music industry and the entertainment industry there's lots of demonic stuff going on behind the scenes there's lots of witchcraft going on behind the scenes this this video was intentional it was bold as heck he knew what he was doing he clearly was trying to upset christians but when i watched the video i essentially knew that this had to be stemmed from some type of church hurt because he was clearly coming for christians he did this to get a rise out of christians clearly he wanted a reaction clearly it's working my thoughts were confirmed when i seen this tweet that he posted and it said i spent my entire teenage years hating myself because of the y'all preach what happened to me because i was gay so i hope you are mad stay mad Feel the same anger you teach us to have towards ourselves. There's lots of people, especially part of the LGBTQ community, who feel this way towards Christians. And I just feel like this needs to be addressed. I just feel like, as Christians, we need to do better. Because I've, I've seen it myself. Like, it's sad that there are people who see this video, they see him posting stuff like this, and the first thing that they say is, oh, he's going to hell. Like, yeah, he's going to hell. Yeah, he's done. He's going to hell. First of all, we, uh, as believers, if you a true believer, if you truly follow Jesus, we are supposed to be the light of this world. We're supposed to spread love, not hate. We're supposed to be speaking life into people, not death. And when you're telling people that they're going to hell, you're literally speaking death into them. He's been dealing with people, Christians, believers, speaking death into him all his life this is not doing anything but proving his point people are just being stereotypical christians people already see us as hateful if you're really that concerned pray for him like i don't know do y'all not believe in prayer do y'all not believe that prayer changes things like i know he might be big and famous or whatever but do you not think god hears your prayers like do you not think if all these people pray and lift him up and speak life into him instead of death. You don't think that'll make a difference because clearly he's not used to that from believers. And I'm just like, it's not just him. And there's so many people who feel the same exact way that he feels. And it just makes me sad because I'm like, like I get it. Like even at one point, I didn't even really want to identify as a Christian because I didn't like the stigma behind it, how people felt about Christians. We have like a bad rep and I'm like, bruh, this is not what it's supposed to be like. My initial reaction to seeing everything that was going on, the whole situation with Lil Nas, I didn't get angry. I wasn't like, oh, he's going to hell. I was sad. It made me sad because I'm like, yo, this man is deceived. I don't know. I can sympathize because I've been deceived. I was deceived for years of my life. I was, you know, into the whole new age thing, doing tarot cards, oracle cards. I was into the readings, zodiacs, the um, chakras and the crystals, all that. I was on that side. I was going down that path, which newsflash if y'all don't know it's demonic too i have a whole um testimony video where i go into that it's 45 minutes get your popcorn go check it out i'll link it down below when i was living that lifestyle and i was going down that path i also identified as a christian 
and like I, I consider myself like I believed in Jesus stuff like that like I didn't go to church or nothing like that and I didn't definitely didn't read my Bible and I prayed like every once in a blue moon I was praying to angels more than I was praying to actual God okay I thought I was doing things correctly I thought I was living the right lifestyle I just thought I was doing great like I would do readings on people I thought I was helping them out I was deceived you I was opening doors and stuff that should not have been open at the time I didn't know that though I thought I was doing a good thing and I thought it was normal I thought it was fine and it's like when people when you're deceived you think you're right you don't know you're being deceived like when you're being deceived you honestly truly don't know until God reveals it to you until he removes the blinders and then there's another thing it's like do you not know the God that we serve like don't you know the God that we serve because I know the God that I serve He's an almighty, all-powerful God. My God can move mountains. He's working all the time, all around the clock, 25-8. There are legit Satanists out there, like people who know they're worshiping Satan. They know there's a lightness, there's a, they know there's a darkness. They are purposely choosing darkness. There's this one um, guy, he was a Satanist for years. He probably seen him, he's a Hispanic guy. I'll link his testimony down below. He's one of the biggest like Satanists to, you know, Jesus testimonies I've ever seen. He straight up used to harass Christians. He used to operate so much like very dark, deep, demonic witchcraft, making deals with the devil, sacrificing things. Like he was deep, deep, deep into the Satanism. If he can be saved and give his life to Christ and now he's like one of the most like known evangelists and now he's out there spreading the gospel and he's on fire for Jesus. If someone like that can come to Jesus, why can't Lil Nas X come to Jesus? Because y'all out here just telling him he's going to hell like it's just done for him. Like there's no hope for him. And I'm like, I honestly truly don't believe that because I know the God I serve. Like you might think someone is so far gone, but it's like my God, he can do his thing out here. You know, he got, he got a plan. And I also believe that everyone has their time because even when I wasn't saved, before I was saved, there were people who tried to come share the gospel with me and you know, yeah, 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 you know, I brushed it off. I'm like, yeah, I'm a Christian, mm -hmm, yeah, whatever. I wasn't truly saved until like what two three years ago so we all have free will if he wants to come to Christ that's his decision he can make that just pray pray for God to remove the blinders from his eyes why don't you pray that he finds Jesus that he seeks God condemning him and shaming him and saying he's gonna go to hell that's not really helpful at all I just want to say disclaimer I don't condone anything that happened in that video yeah, I really don't condone this because like his main he even admitted that his main target market is children so not only are you doc indoctrinating our children and you're planting these demonic seeds and just like opening doors that, no that don't need to be opened I don't agree with it I really don't and I don't care like I don't see how you can be a true believer and actually support this song actually support the video actually support any of this that's going on the Satan shoes with the one drop of human blood in it, that's witchcraft. As soon as I've seen that, witchcraft. Like, in closing, I don't want this to be a long video, but like, Lil Nas has been super bold, as I mentioned earlier. Like, bold, bold. He's still been bold. Like, if you go on his Twitter, he's still been bold, bold. Like, that man got no filter. He's been known for tra trolling and stuff on Twitter. But if he can be so bold about the kingdom of darkness, why can't we, as believers, be bold too? when spreading the gospel and spreading love. It's like, y'all can go and talk and talk and talk and tell people that they're going to hell for doing this, this and that and the third, but you can't spread the gospel with your coworker that you see every single day. Your coworker don't even know you're a Christian. Like, even at one point, like especially towards the beginning of my walk, I was very scared like to tell people I was a believer. Like I wasn't really sharing my YouTube channel like that. I would hate people to go see my YouTube channel because I'd be like, oh my gosh, they're gonna see my testimony and all that stuff. But now it's like, nope, go subscribe. Yeah, I still get shy. Because if you if you go back and look at my old videos and stuff, like I expose my whole life on my channel pretty much, and I expose and I talk about things that people don't really want to talk about. So yeah, but I'm getting out of that, and it's like even for me, like I don't necessarily evangelize all the time either. This whole situation makes me want to do better as a believer too, in terms of speaking to someone about Jesus, like at least every day, someone different, you know spreading the gospel it don't gotta be in like oh i gotta go out on the streets with a mic unless you're called to do that because there are people who are called to do that somebody gotta do it <laughs> even talking to family members friends like people you see every day it's nothing to slip jesus in you can slip jesus in everywhere i just feel like we should be pouring life into others and we should be the light because we don't know what people are going through as you can see telling people that they're gonna go to hell i feel like it just leads to more rebellion and it leads to it causes people to have more of a hate hatred towards God and it causes people not want to see God because you're over there like yeah, you're gonna go to hell for this this and that 
but it's like how about you focus on how they cannot go to hell <laughs> you know i'm not perfect you're not perfect either you know both me and you we supposed to be going to hell because of our lifestyle we can't be god's standard so every single person on this earth we all deserve to go to hell however god didn't want that for us so guess what he did he sent his only son to die for us and his perfect son who did nothing bad didn't commit no sin didn't fall into no temptation was perfect sent him to die for us and paid our debts and now all you gotta do is accept jesus and it's a free gift it's your choice but feel free to comment what you think about the situation don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel baby let me know how you feel um yeah that's all i really got to say bye